Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you the desktop computer architecture and the motherboard main parts. So let's get started. So as you can see here, basically this is the case, the computer case that contain many parts. It contain basically the motherboard, the power converter, the HDD or hard disk drive, the ODD or optical disk drive. Here as you can see we have the ODD or the optical disk drive and under the disk drive we have the HDD or hard disk drive and as you can see this is the power converter so we have many cables as you can see basically so the power converter converts 200 220 volt AC or 115 volt AC to DC voltages like 5 volt, 12 volt, 3.3 volt and so on so basically this is a picture of a motherboard of a computer motherboard where we have where we have all parts so this is the cpu as you can see here we have amt means the model of the cpu is emt cpu here we have this ic's around the cpu basically the cpu contain one power management ic and mosfets inductors etc here this is the north bridge or the gmch okay the north bridge or gmch and here we have the graphic card so this is basically the graphic card and the heatsink above it okay so the cpu the north bridge and the graphic card as you can see so here we have the ICH or the South Bridge. Okay, so this is the input output controller hub. Here, as you can see, basically, this is a real motherboard. As you can see here, you see many parts. As you can see, like the CPU, fan, the cables. So all these cables is is to power basically the motherboard. So here we have the fan for the processor this is ram or random access memory chip here these cables as you can see to power the motherboard here these cables to power the cpu so here as you can see let's see this motherboard also where we have a real part as you can see so basically this is the cpu or this is the cpu socket okay where we connect the CPU, as you can see. So always the big part in the motherboard is the CPU. Here we have the CPU supports that we use to remove or to install the CPU. So here we have RAM, as you can see, the RAM chip, as you can see, or basically the type of these RAMs is DDR4, as you can see. So the power of for ddr for ram is 1.2 volt as you can see this is ddr4 basically there is many types of rams like ddr1 ddr2 ddr3 ddr4 and ddr5 ddr5 is a very improved ram with power of 1.1 volt as you can see here in the screen we have ddr1 2.5 volts DDR2 1.8 volt, DDR3 1.5 volt, DDR4 1.2 volt. This is the working voltage. DDR5 1.1 volt. So as I told you before, always if you want to change the RAM chip, you should always pay attention to the RAM type. Is it DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, and so on? So here, as you can see, this is the North Bridge. The North Bridge here or the graphic card is integrated with the North Bridge here. That's why we have just one chip over here. So of course, as I told you before, 
you can find in some motherboards that the graphic card is separated from the node bridge, but in others the node bridge and the graphic card is integrated in just one chip. So here, as you can see, this is the CPU channels. As you can see, we have here inductors, capacitors, and MOSFETs. Okay, so for this CPU, it has about six channels as you can see so, so basically for the cpu it can contain two channels or more okay here as you can see we have mosfets so we have three mosfets as you can see three mosfets inductor and capacitor this is one channel as you can see we have other three mosfets as you can see inductor capacitor another channel three mosfets inductor capacitor another channel so here, as you can see, we have another motherboard here that we're gonna study and we're gonna analyze. So as I told you before, in this video, I'm going to show you many motherboards in order to go deeper into understanding the motherboard architecture and parts. So here, this is a CPU socket, as you can see, here we have the CPU support. So basically, the socket doesn't contain the CPU, as you can see. Here, this is the graphic card. This is the heatsink for the gym or the gym CH. The gym CH and the graphic card are integrated together. Okay, so this is the heatsink in order to cool down the chips. Here we have the RAM slots, as you can see. Here we have two yellow RAM slots. So basically, here we connect the RAMs here. We connect RAMs and here we have capacitors. So those capacitors in order to filter the power for the RAM. As you can see, we have here MOSFETs and capacitors. So in every circuit, you will find MOSFETs, capacitors and inductors. Okay, so basically the capacitors are the filtering component because in the motherboard we should get a pure voltage, a pure DC voltage because the components are a very sensitive component. Here as you can see this is the CMOS battery, as you can see we have 3 volt CMOS battery, basically it keeps the seating and the data stored in the IC here.